What is going on, you guys? It is time to start the Seattle Mariners franchise as the OFSM rosters have officially dropped. And if you don't know what those are, I briefly went over it in the reveal video. They are critical to playing this game in franchise mode. They are the full minor league rosters. They're not just some made up players that the game automatically puts in. They are actual prospects and they are very critical to playing this game and having a really good franchise. Now, let's shift our focus overall to the actual Mariners roster as the team as a whole is kind of in between. You don't, um, you don't have anybody, if you were to build around anybody, was, would be Felix Hernandez, but he's 31. He's getting up there in age. He's starting to decline a little bit. James Paxton's 29. Do you really want to build around a 29-year-old left-handed pitcher? So there's not really a, and Robinson Cano is old. He's got six years left on his contract, and by the time those six years are up, if he hasn't retired already, he'll be in his 40s. So, um, but they're still good enough to win games this year. It's not a, well, they're not good enough to win games this year. Let's blow it up. They're still good enough to win games and possibly contend for a division title or a wild card spot, I think contending for the World Series with this roster is going to be a bit um, of a reach. So quickly, we're going to go over injuries as in real life, where these are pre-injuries before the start of the season that I am going to use. Um, Mike Zanino is on the 10-day DL. He's projected to be back in mid-April, so he's got an oblique injury. Erasmo Ramirez is on the 10-day DL with a shoulder injury. He is also projected to be back mid-April, around April the 11th. Ben Gamble, outfielder, who is a still a decent prospect for us. Um, he's only 25, uh, B potential type of player. And he's still somebody we can use. He could be trade bait, but as of right now, he's depth in the outfield. He's probably going to start the season off in the minors. But he is on the 10-day deal with the oblique injury, and he's projected to be back around mid-April. And the big injury that is a big uh, blow to this bullpen, which you'll see later on in the video, I'm going to address, uh, make a move to address the bullpen. David Phelps, who they were looking to have a big year in the bullpen, is out for the whole season. He's is on the 60-day deal with an elbow injury, and he's not projected to be back till 2019. So, where does that leave us with that? Well, we still have a really good roster, like I said earlier. Still have a lot of things. Um, the Ath or the Mariners, not the Athletics, even though they did make a move with the Athletics. Uh, this offseason, the Mariners made two, in my opinion, big moves. One of them is they got first baseman Ryan Healy from the Oakland Athletics. Why the Oath Athletics traded him is beyond me. He did a phenomenal had a phenomenal season with the Athletics last year. He does have some good power. He can hit for a good average, and he fills a need at first base. Also, the Athlet or Mariners went out and traded for D. Gordon from the Miami Marlins, who, as you don't know, or if you don't know, the Marlins hired Derek Jeter in the offseason, and they're completely blowing that team up as they sent John Carlos Stanton over to the American League. Lucky for us, to the uh, New York Yankees. So, D. Gordon and Ron Healy immediately fill some needs on this team. Uh, a big first base need was filled, and D. Gordon can immediately step in and play center field and kind of help defensively hold up that uh, unit out there. Now, for Nelson Cruz, Nelson Cruz is on a one-year deal. My plan with Nelson Cruz is if he's having a great season at the deadline, I'm going to keep him unless the team is just doing awful, I'm going to trade him. He is on a one-year deal. This offseason depends upon how much he's going to ask for because he is an older player. He's a DH. Um, he's not good in the outfield. Uh, you can play him in the outfield in interleague games, but outside of that, I would not play him in the outfield. Um, so he's going to be playing DH for us. Dan Vogelback also is a possible DH option. He is 25. Um, the bat is kind of there. The fielding isn't there. He was drafted by the Cubs and just kind of never panned out as a prospect. He still has B potential. Um, he is somebody I could use if we get to the deadline or close to the deadline and we need maybe an arm or a bullpen piece. He could be somebody I flip. Um, 
it's going to be very interesting to see how this team does the first month, the first two months, because that's really going to set what's going to happen with the team going forward. Now, as we get into prospects, two big prospects for the Seattle Mariners, they don't have a lot of prospects. First off, big prospect they have is Kyle Lewis, drafted, out of 26, drafted in 2016. He's an outfielder, uh, 22 years of age. Very good outfield prospect. He has a high ceiling power hitter. His ceiling is a big power bat. Um, his running ability grades out at a 55. His power grades out at a 60, which is really well. Um, his arm also grades out at a 60. Next, we have Evan Watt, who they drafted this past year. First baseman from Kentucky. Could be a very good player. This is going to be his first year fully in the minors, and we will look for a lot of good development out of him. Uh, he could be a very good player for us. I believe him and uh, Evan Watt and Kyle Luce could be the big players to build around going forward. Um, outside of that, there's not a whole lot of really great prospects. There's a couple of pitching prospects um, in Mac Poffs. Uh, pretty sure I butchered that name. He was a third round pick from the Atlanta Braves that they got. Um, Jake Rizzo also, Joe Rizzo, I apologize, is also a decent player. He's C potential, could be on the fringe of B, um, but we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, just not a lot of prospects. There's not, in that it hurts in two different areas, is you don't have the prospects to really uh, develop your team at the same time if, you know, we're one big piece away, we don't have that. We also have Jason Worth, too, as uh, outfield depth as the Mariners picked him up late in the offseason. So, really a difficult, I wouldn't call it rebuild, but a difficult team of the Mariners to gauge kind of what to do and how to do. So, the first, the only move I made uh, before the start of the season, I released Ryan Garten. Uh, he was B potential, but he's older. And I picked up Trevor Rosenthal, who was sitting in free agency. Uh, still has A potential at 27, former closer for the Cardinals, and had a decent season for him last year with a uh, middle three ERA. So uh, he was wanting a five year contract. I dropped it down to three years, and we ended up signing him to a three year, $10 million contract to work out of the bullpen. And that should help stabilize the bullpen a little bit and help improve it. Um, and now we're going to get into the starting rotation as it's James Paxton. It's going to be your opening day starter, followed by Felix Hernandez, Mike Leak, who they also picked up from the Cardinals last season, Wade LeBlanc, and Jose Miranda. As when Erasmo Ramirez comes off, he will be in back in the lineup. Uh, like I said, the bullpen is kind of iffy. You have really two good setups in. Juan Nicasio and Nick Vincent, and you have closer Edwin Diaz. And now you're going to see the lineups, uh, righty and lefty DH. Just D Gordon is going to be leading off, followed by Segura, Cruz, Robinson Cano, Mitch Hagner, Kyle Seager, Ryan Healy. David Freitas is going to be starting to get catcher until Mike Zanino gets back, and Ichiro is going to be playing in the outfield. Against lefties, same lineup, just a small change because Ryan Healy's going to slot into the five spot and Mitch Hagner's going to drop down to the seventh spot. I'm looking forward to opening days. It should be up, I believe. I believe it will be up Thursday or Friday. We'll have to see how the week plays out. But I'm Pred Hunter Gaming. Make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like, and comment away. And I'm out.